the case against Tara Grinstead's accused killer went before the Georgia Supreme Court today. At issue, a procedural question over whether Ryan Duke's lawyers can appeal a judge's pre-trial ruling. Chelsea Bimefort was in the courtroom and gives us details from Atlanta. This hearing all stems from Ryan Duke's request for the state to pay for expert witnesses and investigators. After an Irwin County judge turned down that request twice, his lawyers appealed it to the Georgia Supreme Court. But Tuesday, the court didn't hear arguments about the funding. Instead, they heard arguments over whether they even have the authority to hear the appeal. Basically, the defense wants the Georgia Supreme Court to take the case, even though trial judge Bill Reinhardt hasn't signed off on their appeal. That's usually required before the court hears what they call matters of first impression or issues that have never been ruled on before. It is a requirement to convey jurisdiction to this court. Prosecutors say the defense is making an end run around the trial judge and bypassing the appeal process set under state law. And while the Georgia Supreme Court did not rule Tuesday, the hearing ended with a justice suggesting that the defense go back and discuss the issue with Judge Reinhardt. Is it too late for the parties to sit down with the trial judge and ask the trial judge to consider vacating his order, re-entering it, and then maybe entering a certificate of immediate review to get this issue definitively resolved before trial? This Your very Honor, complex issue of first impression? Your Honor, I do believe so. I believe that there were there were there was a lot of stuff going on at the time that we uh, that we presented this. We were, were right on the eve of trial. We tried to get this together as quickly as possible. Uh, I believe that if with guidance from this court, I believe we, we would be able to do that. Duke's lawyers argue that Reinhardt's ruling to deny funds for expert witnesses and investigators violates their client's right to a fair trial. Reporting in Atlanta, Chelsea Byam for 13 WMAZ News. Prosecutor J.D. Hart says the Georgia Supreme Court could take weeks or months to make a decision about the appeal process.